Production is officially underway on America's new F-47. According to Air Force Chief of Staff General David Elvin, Boeing officially began production on the first F-47 sixth-generation air superiority fighter just recently, with plans to have it in the air in 2028. Now, the Air and Space Forces Association's 2025 Airspace and Cyber Conference is underway this week, and while I couldn't make it in person, I am absolutely there in spirit, just soaking up all the information and announcements to come from it, and formal confirmation that America's next stealth fighter is now actually being pieced together is honestly pretty exciting news. Of course, this first F-47 won't actually be the first aircraft to fly out of this program, known officially as Next Generation Air Dominance. This program saw two still-classified X-planes built to demonstrate the cutting-edge technologies that would come to define this new fighter, and we can assume to compete at least to some extent for the contract that was ultimately awarded to Boeing. Now, the first of these X-planes took flight in 2019, and according to Air Air Force officials had already set some sort of performance records by the following year. The second of these secret jets made its maiden flight in 2022, but any further details are very tough to come by. Now, the F-47, according to the Air Force, will offer a combat radius of better than 1,000 nautical miles, or roughly 1,150 standard miles for those of us who aren't pirates, all while offering advanced new sensors and encrypted communications, improved all aspects stealth, and a top speed of above Mach 2. Now, based on the role that this aircraft is expected to play in offensive air combat operations, it's pretty likely to me that it'll fly at high altitudes, not unlike the Raptor, to maximize line of sight for its powerful onboard radar and new weapons, like the still-in-testing AIM-260 Beyond Visual Range Air-to-Air -air Missile. Now, the Air Force intends to buy at least 185 F-47s, enough to replace the Raptor fleet on a one-to-one -one basis. But importantly, the F-47 was designed from its onset to operate as a central node in a formation of drone wingmen, known as CCAs, or Collaborative Combat Aircraft. Now, there are currently two air-to-air-focused CCA drones in testing, General Atomic's YFQ-42 and Andrel's YFQ-44, with plans already in place to field more CCA variants in later contract awards, potentially even extremely high-end drone wingmen like Lockheed Martin's recently announced Vectis drone. Now, in effect, that means the F-47 is meant to operate as an entire fighter formation unto itself bringing as many as maybe four or more UCAVs into any fight it heads into along with it. Now, these new F-47s and their litany of drone wingmen will then operate alongside at least 100 new B-21 Raider stealth bombers as an extremely stealthy one-two punch of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground operations, capable of penetrating the most hotly contested environments on the planet to engage enemy fighters, surface-to-air missile systems, and coastal defenses, allowing the rest of America's air and sea-based power projection capabilities to be brought to bear in a safer environment. But before any of that can happen, the F-47 needs to get flying. So we'll see if Boeing can keep to their 2028 timetable.